Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Greece. In the last episode, uh, we are beginning to plan an attack on Iran. Uh, we've redistributed our forces, we've set up some battle plans, we've got our air force uh, in position, we've got some naval units um, trolling the Gulf, uh, the Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman. So, uh, we are ready for conflict with Iran. Our justification for war will be complete on the 16th of June, 2030. And, uh, we also integrated Namibia over here. Uh, we took on a whole pile of debt from Azerbaijan because apparently they cannot manage their own economy correctly. Um... They are still six and a half billion in debt with a weekly balance of negative 59.43 billion. Ouch. What I'm probably going to have to do is just bite the bullet and integrate them because, um, just integrate them, eat all of that debt and just try to burn it down as much as I can. Um, and, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, Iran, let's see, what do you have? You have two trillion, almost two trillion in debt. Um, we need your oil. So I think what we're probably going to do is we're just going to annex Iran. Um, which I'm moving away from my, my plan of going the puppet and uh, absorb route. Um, but I'm, I'm starting to see the advantages and disadvantages of that process, uh, as I go here. Um, the advantages are, you know, there are ways of gaining the puppets without conflict, which is nice, especially for nations that are guaranteed by, uh, alliances you don't necessarily want to fight. And it's not too hard to reduce their autonomy and absorb them. Uh, also, if you do acquire them through military means, uh, the puppets, it's easier to make the puppets, that sort of stuff. Um, and also, because you you just peacefully integrate them, you don't have to worry about garrisons, you don't have to worry about resistance, you don't have to worry about any of that sort of stuff. Uh, the big downside, though, is this. Is this. When you absorb a puppet, you take on their debt. And, uh, that, that hurts. Um, fortunately, we're, we have a pretty good income, so I should be able to eat it. Um, Yeah, and the reason why we're gonna we're gonna annex Iran is because I I need I need their oil because in the last war and probably in this coming war we are gonna run into all kinds of problems with fuel. So there's that. Well, the other thing we did is we upgraded our global navigation satellite system to the new thirty or no three thirty millimeter or three centimeter uh, resolution. Navigation satellites. Futuristic fuel refining. All right, that's done. Early maglev rail. We might as well get the... the improvements to the rail. Speaking of our construction, how are we doing? We're doing good. I'm actually going to remove these because they are not. Somalia has declared war on Puntland. I'm almost certain that is not how you pronounce that, but that's the way I'm, that's what I'm going to call it. It's Puntland. We can lower autonomy of Slovenia to an autonomous region. All right. Sounds good. 
We are still trying to work over uh, Vatican City a little bit here. Gonna manipulate their politics a little bit more. Puntland capitulated. Well, that was fast. They accept our military vehicles. Very good. We need enough political power, or what is this? Yeah, political power to, um, I forgot what that was called for a minute, um, to uh, the stage coup. The United States has declared war on Polynesia. Okay. Of of all the things to declare war on, but Polynesia. I guess I guess Americans want their beaches, huh? Um Very well. Australia has declared war on Polynesia. Hey, then. Abkhazia is asking for a debt bailout. I will get to you in a minute. Future Special Forces. Continue to improve our drones. 59 billion. Yeah, yeah, we could have. Um, that's getting me some pretty decent influence here. They're nationalists. All right, 246 political power. How much do I need to attempt a coup? 260. Padania asked for debt bailout. How much? Eight hundred and fifty-two billions. Very well, Padania. I've been trying to avoid that, but again, they're another one. Though they're not anywhere near as bad. Not anywhere near as bad. There we go. Vatican City wants a debt bailout of twenty billions. Sure. We're everybody's bank. You made 19 billion from uh, asteroid mining. Holy cow, our influence is now at 73.96%. Uh, our coup is at 76% chance of a successful coup. And it succeeded. And that got us over 90% influence. So they are now our puppets. Excellent. The next... The next thing on the list is going to be... San Marino, because they are also an independent city-state. Let's get you 
boosting ideology for nationalists. And let's get you on propaganda. And let's get ourselves on the map as far as influence. Oh, we can invite Israel to our faction. Aha. Uh -huh. Are they not at war with Iran? And they're nationalists. That sounds good to me. All right, Israel's now in our faction. We can declare our war. And I think we are going to go ahead and call our allies. Uh... Trade from Australia was terminated due to low trade influence. France wants to join wars. You know what? We are going to go ahead and say, you know what? You guys want to participate? You can participate. All right. That means we're going to be short... Well, Canada can send us the tech metals. We don't need this much steel anymore. Apparently we do. Never mind. Looks like it's slow going in the north, which is what I expected, though it looks like we are starting to break through. Uh, we do have air superiority. Yeah, because we just vastly outnumber them. Um, we have naval engagements. Radical political shift in the Vatican. Yeah, we have 45 days of fuel left. Once these fronts merge, we're probably going to have to reorganize things. Hungary wants to send expeditionary forces. We're going to decline. No, I don't want your expeditionary forces. I want you to actually send your own armies. Alright, so far, so good. Yeah, knock those guys out. Knock those guys out. Come on. Okay. Now we need to completely reorganize these fronts. Let's delete their orders. We're just going to go ahead and say spread yourselves out and push all the way to the end. Go. Devil. 
Apostasis. This just makes everything so much simpler. You can stay there. Um, this naval invasion is not going to be necessary. I'm pretty sure that's not going to be necessary. Um, that was only going to be if we got bogged down. We did not get bogged down. Yep, and this should go fairly quickly. Yeah, we're gonna need our civilian factories doing something here in a moment. I didn't get hardly anything there. Hmm. Israel made a puppet. How did I end up that far behind? Strange. All right, well. Do we have any idea what our resources are? That'd be really nice. Uh. We kind of need that petroleum. Well, didn't get anywhere near as much as I wanted out of that. That's unfortunate. But guess what? You guys are not. You guys are not a puppet. That's a puppet. That's not either. We got some. But this is really what I needed right there. Of course I didn't get it. We're going to have to do this a slow way then. You are in our faction. Yes, you're in our faction. All right, well, let's move. Yes. 
troops back to kind of holding locations. Should work. gonna do here I don't need to coup them I don't need to stage a coup we just need to get we just need to start working on influence there Polynesia was puppeted uh, by whom The United States. Okay, then. All right. We need something for our civilian factories to do. Um, one thing we could have them do is build me some ICPMs. Uh, how many do I have available that aren't doing anything? I don't know. But get started on some ICBMs. Uh, in addition... Let's see. Yeah, let's actually turn Congo into a massive office sector. <laughs> Build them. One other thing that we could do... is a massive rail improvement project. Especially heading north. Let's see, here is one of our primary rail corridors. Looks like we aren't very well connected here, are we? No, we're not. All right, so I'd like to build a new rail from there to there. I would like to...
connect that through to there. Okay. Yep, that's that's a project. A lot of construction to do there. Something to keep our factories busy. They accepted our vehicle package. Spread influence. Attack their domestic independence. And we stole A10 Thunderbolt 2 blueprints. Sounds good. Let's infiltrate their army. Researching. Well, high explosive warheads for our ICBMs. Okay, what are my options here? High explosive. Thermobaric warhead. Four tactical strike, organization damage, one tactical strike. Bunker buster. Cluster munition. Incendiaries, anti-electrical warhead, this provides what? thermobarracks, let's get those. Accidentally clicking on the airfield. Oh, they don't want any of our military equipment. That's going to make this take long. Uh, let's see. We might give them debt bailout, speaking of. Uh, what's it going to cost to me 200 more political power? Okay. Yeah. Are they actually making money or are they still negative? Yeah, they're still very, very negative. Uh, one thing we could do. Just get them some stinking office sectors. So then maybe they can offset some of that debt. Grant the Slovenia some bailouts. Sure. Why not?
Yep, I know we have more of this. Um, we really don't need to go crazy with our military factories right now. And I don't really have another ship design to spend dockyards on. At least not yet. Sweden is triggered Article 50. I don't know. That was this, wasn't it? Yeah, that was fully automated drones. Um, We can actually knock out this entire tree, can't we? Let's go for quantum computing. Azerbaijan. Before you make things worse, let's bring it in. All right, well, we don't need that construction right now, then. I'm actually going to go ahead and disband these troops. Yeah, disband those. I already have more than I know what to do with, so... Um... Yeah. Yeah, we're not training anything. Right. Uh, we have supply issues. We do have supply issues. Upgrade bottlenecks, upgrade bottlenecks, upgrade bottlenecks. We already really should be, but... We'll make sure it's in there. Those three divisions, you know what, we'll just go ahead and disband those two. Alright, we leapfrogged a couple of other nations in terms of our influence. 
They still don't want to take any of my guns. Sierra Leone. Okay. Excellent. Go ahead and influence our politics. All right. Well, I think we're at the end of the episode. I think we are. So, we'll stop here. We'll keep on working. Uh, next episode. So for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.